So do you have a 2019 Ultra Road Glide or Street Glide running a Boombox GDS? Well, we can take it very quickly from this to this. Stick around, we'll show you how. Okay, so you want to put Apple CarPlay on your Harley. Not a difficult task these days, you've got one of two choices. You can pay around about $600 for the Harley Wim, which means you need the uh, Senna Harley approved headset and microphone, and you can plug it all in, and that's great. Or you can simply buy one of these. It's about a $30 item. It's called the AOCUS for Apple CarPlay uh, 2019 Up GTS Radio. All it is, is a simple connection that goes in behind on one of the plugs behind the uh, front of the fairing. It's got a little wire on it which connects the second and third terminals together, which fools your bike into thinking that there's a whim. Now what you'll be able to get from that is all the Apple CarPlay uh, apps on your screen on your Boombox GTS. Understand this will not work for anything less than a 2019 with the Boombox GDS. If you've got the standard or the older GPS from the 2018 with the physical buttons on the side of it, it's not going to work for you. So the first thing we've got to do is pull the front of the fairing off. Let's give that a crack. It's a matter of taking off these four screws here, taking the screen off, the uh, cowling inside then pops off the black cowling, and then there's one bolt here on the side, on each side for the indicators, which needs removing, that's the T27 socket. Two more down here on the side, I think they're T23 sockets, and there's also two in here underneath the speakers. So we'll be popping these caps off the covers off the speakers and taking those out. That's all it takes to pull the fairing off. So let's give it a crack. Four. Okay. Screen just pops off. In. Just got to find where this clips in at the front. There we go. Let's be careful. There we go off nice and easily. Now, once we've done this, it's a good idea to put two of these bolts back, uh, these bolts back to hold it whilst we're waiting to take all the other bolts out. That'll stop the whole fairing crashing to the ground when you take the last bolt out. All right, that's the top of it away. Now I've got a uh, screwdriver here. You'll notice I've put some tape over it so that we don't damage the, the uh, and we can, just from here, we can unpop. Here we go. Over there, on that side. There we go. There we go. You'll note they just pop straight in and out. And what we've done now is we've exposed that screw in there that we need to re remove down here. Okay, let's keep going. Side. A few minutes later. Right, so now we've taken off all the bolts 
took those last two out, which were just holding it while we're at the front so that you've got plenty of uh, support of it. You don't want it dropping down and hitting the ground. That could be expensive. Uh, now, this is a 2020 Road Glide. We've got two uh, indicator connections here. Just push in the little tab. They separate nice and easily. And the whole thing drops away. Exposing the front of our bike. So, the one we're looking for, okay, it's not this one at the front here. If you come around the side and we go into here, you'll see in here there's a plug and there's what we're looking for. Right, one and you just wiggle this, it gets these little plastic holding pins to come out. But you just got to do it a little bit at a time and be careful so you don't break the pins and away it comes. All right. And here we go, exposing uh, connection. So all we've got to do then is Grab a little plug and it should be as simple as plugging it in. And there we go, you hear a little clip and that's it. So let's go around and see what we get. All right, so we've got the front fairing off now. We've connected the uh, adapter, so now let's turn her on and see what we get. Hopefully, we'll get Apple CarPlay. Hit accept. Go back to the home page. Allow on my phone, bang, CarPlay. We've got maps, we've got music, we've got phone. Let's see what else we've got. Look at this, messages. Podcasts, Harley Davidson, perfect, CarPlay for the Harley. How cool's that? That's pretty cool. Very happy with that. We can move across. So it'll only show up your apps that are CarPlay enabled. All right. You can have your music playing here, your map over here. Fantastic. And it's simply a matter of uh, putting it back the way you uh, found it. And if you ever want to take it off, take the front off the bike again, whip that plug out, and you're back to normal. As soon as you disconnect your phone, your iPhone from the USB, bang, she reverts to normal anyway. That simple. later okay through the magic of modern uh, movie making uh, it's now two weeks later bikes back together as you can see and we've traveled about 2,000 miles with the uh, carplay plug attached now to me 
the fact that it gives me Google Maps as opposed to the standard Harley Davidson navigation system is a game changer in itself. I love the fact that I can just grab my phone within a couple of you know clicks, I can program in where I want to go, I can add stops, I can import maps that I've put together on the computer earlier, and it just makes navigation so much easier and it's right there on the big screen in front of you when you're traveling. So for the 25 to 30 bucks, depending on when you buy it, because the, the price varies uh, on Amazon, it's well worth that simply for Google Maps alone. Now it's not perfect, you can't use your phone obviously because you don't have a microphone and when it's plugged into the USB, uh, it won't work with your communications headsets. Um, to do that, you're gonna need a whim and you're gonna need the, you know, the Harley Davidson approved center helmets. Funnily enough, my helmets are the exact same as the Harley Davidson one, they just don't have Harley Davidson written on them. Anyway, that's uh, another story, I guess. But anyway, 30 bucks, you get Google Maps, Navigating Spotify is really easy on it. Um, you can even check your messages, although you have to turn the volume up pretty high because it actually speaks the messages to you, which is good if you're, you know, at a set of lights and you've had a message come in, something like that. But all in all, to me, putting this thing on, getting the Apple CarPlay simply for whether it be Google Maps or Waze or whatever other navigation system you want to use, anything's better than the crap. Harley Davidson navigation. So give it a go. It's a very easy install as I've shown you and we'll see you on the next video. Cheers.